Air pollution is an inevitable consequence of hydrofracking. It's not a risk. It's not the outcome of an accident that may or may not happen. Compromised air quality is a certainty with hydrofracking. With 77,000 wells envisioned for upstate New York, each one of which requires 1,000 truck trips, 1,000 uh, times 77,000 equals a number that has six zeros after it, which makes for a prodigious amount of diesel exhaust. And of course, in addition to endless fleets of 18-wheelers, gas production requires generators, pumps, drill rigs, condensers, and compressors. All these things run on diesel. We know that um, you can measure uh, diesel exhaust in umbilical cord blood. Um, and some of the best research that we have coming out of Columbia University shows us that the higher the levels of diesel exhaust exposure prenatally, the higher the risk for preterm birth, which is the leading cause of disability in this nation, and the higher the risk for cognitive deficits. So given that we already spend a quarter of our public school dollars on special education, why would we invite to New York a form of extreme energy extraction that extinguishes the IQ points of our children and simply uh, adds a burden to our educational uh, s uh, schools and to our medical systems at a time when we are struggling as a state so much financially that we've just had to cut uh, medical uh, and uh, education uh, in the state of New York, rather than um, increasing the need for more medicine and the need for more special ed, um, if we invest in the kinds of sustainable uh, uh, economic development that would clean up our air and um, rely on renewables, um, then we would have less need for uh, public education uh, and special ed. We'd have less need for uh, emergency room visits for asthmatic children. At the same time, the wellheads themselves vent volatile chemicals, benzene and toluene. These are also highly toxic, and they actually combine with combustion byproducts to create smog. And we actually know a lot about smog. Um, this kind of air pollution is lethal. It contains ultrafine particles, soot, ozone, and the carcinogen benzoapyrene. In adults, these pollutants are linked to bladder, lung, and breast cancer, stroke, diabetes, and premature death. In children, they are linked to premature birth, asthma, cognitive deficits, and stunted lung development. And they have come with a very high price tag. Uh, premature birth is the leading cause of disability in the U.S. It carries with it a $26 billion price tag, and asthma, an $18 billion price tag. And the, of course, the uh, air pollution doesn't stay in the gas patch. It can travel up to 200 miles. So children in Albany will be affected. Children in New York City will be affected, and in, in places where no one is benefiting financially from land leases.